Alright, whenever you're ready. Uh, now? <laughs> G'day, uh, I'm Steve Lands. I'm from Bede Polden College uh, and I'm in charge of this group of students who are working here uh, on a, a tank project um, and they are called the Eco Group. And the Eco Group has been in existence at this school now for seven years. I have 50 students here in the Eco Group and who are very eager to do uh, anything they can to help with the environment. I just joined the Eco Group about a few weeks ago because I thought it was really interesting what we're doing and I really do care about the environment, I wanted to do something to help out. It started as another thing just to get involved in for me, but then when I came, um, I was in Mr Williams' class at the beginning, so um, yeah, decided to join up and then yeah, just got involved from that. So we felt that um, the school needed to take more action when it comes to the environment. Yeah, I was walking past and saw the meeting going on and me and my friend were just like, yep, I'll just join it. I am passionate about the environment and started Eco Group because it's the closest thing that I could get to making a difference here at school. It's really fun because we get to do, we get to help around the school and do lots of stuff to help the environment. Sustainability was always a key sort of concept in the Eco Group, so yeah, Water Tank fit in perfectly with what we were aiming to achieve. As part of the ALIVE project, we've successfully applied for funding for a water tank. And uh, in a very generous offer, we've, we've not only been given the water tank, but a secondary tank and a pump and a housing, all for $1,000. At this stage, what we're doing is we're installing, or the first step to installing that tank. So uh, the tank is actually going against a wall where there, um, there are hedges growing. So unfortunately we have to remove the hedge, but we're trying to do the right thing. We're trying to dig it out by digging around each plant quite deep, come in underneath, lift it out entirely. <laughs> and replant it in another garden bed. It's been pretty hard work though, because it's very dry and very hard clay. So what will happen now, once those shrubs are out of the way, we will then level the, the area and uh, form it up for a concrete pad. We'll pour, pour the concrete slab, install a tank, and then we'll have to call a plumber in uh, to hook the tank up to the downpipes and also to the water pump. And then in the end, we will have built garden beds here and have a composting scheme. It'll all work together to be reasonably self-sufficient. I drew a picture to design what we're going to do and it's, yeah. First of all we got the water tank in which happened a fortnight ago and then a week after we got it all hooked up to the drain system so that's ready to go. And then we also got the funding for this one. We put plants on the top of it and then under it's a water tank as well. And so the water that seeps in the soil goes under it and you can recycle that soil as well. Well these are compost bins that we just recently got and therefore everyone in the school to use to put their old used fruit and vegetable scraps so we can use it to fertilise our garden. And what the big picture is is that we're going to turn this lot into a sustainable garden where all the plants are going to be watered from the water tank water and from this water and then just be recycled over and over again. Alright so we're going um, on our eco group field trip today. This first stop is Precision Poly, the people that made our water tank that we purchased through the Alive project. They've got some really innovative methods of producing tanks. So aside from the fact that having a water tank is a really good thing, uh, it's also a really environmentally friendly product. And so I was particularly interested to take the students there to show them how these things were manufactured. So we're at Precision Poly and we're learning about how they build our water tanks for our school that we implanted.
Yeah, yeah my name is uh, Malcolm Baird. Um, I'm the managing director of Precision Poly. We were, we were approached to supply a, a rainwater tank. We did that, but also we threw in a couple of extra little presents for them, some grow beds and something else, wasn't it? Oh, oh pumps and pump cover, that's right. So that's how we uh, <laughs> became involved. Scraps of lettuce and tomatoes and stuff, and they can eat that. And our next stop uh, is going to be our lunch stop, which uh, is actually ha has an environmental message of its own because uh, we're going to be consuming food that's been locally grown uh, and produced by locals. So the money stays within our economy, but also there's uh, very low food miles. That is, the food hasn't travelled very far to get to the table. Um, so, you know, we'll be drinking orange juice from locally grown oranges as opposed to oranges that were flown in from California and taken uh, tens of thousands of kilometres of um, fuel. Uh, so, uh, so that's an environmentally friendly product too. Okay, so we're here at the Cafe in Richmond at the moment and I've met up with the Bead Holding Eco Group. It's growing, which is fantastic. Um, there's lots more members than was at, at the beginning when I started the Alive Project with Bead Holding. And um, they've been looking at, um, first of all, they went this morning to the manufacturers of their stormwater tank and also the grow bed and learned a little bit about that. And we're having lunch at the moment and then they're off to a recycling workshop with Amanda from Hawkesbury Council. So I think they've all had a great day, uh, lots of excitement, enthusiasm at the end of the year and they've done a really great job in their whole project and getting it to where it is at this point. So. And then we're off to the library to, um, to go and see Amanda Monaco from Council and she's going to do a recycling talk with us uh, just to uh, clarify with us what items can and can't be recycled because it's actually changed quite a bit um, in recent times. So um, all today, all together, it's a pretty uh, action-packed day, and uh, and hopefully by the end of it, the students will have learned quite a lot. Yeah. Okay, she sucks. <laughs> How's that? 